Recently, I asked for recommendations for German comedians to react to, and one of the German comedians a couple of people asked me to watch was Kaya Yanner, and I did some research on him, checked his Wikipedia and so on. It looks like he's been actually a top-level comedian for a long time, almost two decades, I believe, maybe over two decades. I think he's German of Turkish heritage. Tell me if you know Kaya, Tell me what you think about him, recommend more of his work, and yeah, looking forward to seeing another German comedian. Those definitely look like big audiences he's playing in front of. Is he one of Germany's most popular comedians? Listen up, are you ready for this? Thank you very much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kaya. I'm a Turkish comedian who was born and raised in Germany and who performs in English. Now you might ask yourself, what's your problem? <laughs> well, I think, the thing is this. Uh, uh, Germany is a, is a great country which exports a lot of things like beer, cars, software. And why not comedy? And why not a Turkish comedian? Because it all started 50 years ago when the Turks came to Germany. Uh, as you all know, we had a Second World War in 1945. Europe was in ruins because everyone bumped the shit out of each other. So a lot of, a lot of men died, a lot of people died in the Second World War and a lot of workforce. So the Germans, the French, everyone involved in the Second World War was looking for workers. And everyone was looking in their respective colonies. So the French had colonies in Northern Africa. So they looked for workers over there. The English had colonies in India. So they brought a lot of Indian people to England. <laughs> a German comedian of Turkish heritage doing an Indian accent in English. Yeah, I didn't think I would witness that. The but Germans good stuff. didn't have any colonies. They were trying to establish colonies in Europe. So, <laughs> <laughs> so they asked uh, for uh, different countries. They asked uh, it Italy, they asked uh, Portugal and Turkey. So a lot of Turks said, yeah, sure, why not? We go to Germany, we work two, three years, and then we go back. And that was the contract. The Germans said, okay, you come here for work, two, three years, and then fuck off again. Okay, no problem. After two, three years, the Turks said, thank you very much, here is the money, okay, thank you, we go. And then the Germans said, no, can you stay two more years? We got a lot of Aufschwung over here. We got a lot of work, can you stay two more years? Okay, no problem, we stay two more years. So we stayed five years in general, in common. Okay, let's go, we leave. But no, wait, hold on a second, we still have a lot of Arbeit for you, can you come back? So we stayed, after 10 years we said, listen, we like your country, and we like the Arbeit, and we like the, the payment, but we're a little bit bored, can we bring our wives? And you guys said yes, and that was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> because if there's one thing we Turks can do is multiply. <laughs> That's true. 1950s, there were 100,000 Turks, just 100,000 Turks in Germany. Now it's 2011, we have 3 million Turks. Whoa. We can multiply, we can... <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't actually realize that was the number of people of Turkish descent in Germany. That's a huge number, I guess. Is that the biggest population uh, of immig immigrants in Germany? Is it the Turkish community? Uh, tell me uh, what you think about Kaya. Actually, I'm really enjoying it. He's really reminding me of the other German comedian that I watched, M Michael Mietermeyer. Kind of similar uh, style in a way, but just obviously playing on his Turkish heritage so far. And is that true, what he said about Germany always convincing the Turkish population to stay there and work? And I'm one of those three million. Right now, I'm 38 years old, and personally, I'm uh, looking for Miss Yanar, you know? Yeah, personally, I'm looking for my wife. Uh, she exists somewhere, I'm pretty sure she does, not only in my mind. And I want to find her quickly, because it's thir I'm 38, I'm heading towards 50. 
and I can feel it that my body is deteriorating. I see my, my hair is falling out and it, it starts to grow in places I've never seen it before. <laughs> there, there's, there's hair on my neck and on my shoulder and on my back. I look at my feet, I could double hobbits. It's, uh, it's, <laughs> I said, there's hair everywhere. And when I bend down to tie my shoelaces, you know, I sound like a Chinese Kung Fu master. What? What? <laughs> there's a Chinese guy behind me, he feels challenged. Chunko, it's a What? No, I'm, it's my shoelace. Stop it. And now I'm trying to find Miss Yana, okay? And uh, I'm looking all over the place. I, I didn't find her in Germany. So I thought, okay, maybe look somewhere else. Like Scandinavia, because that's my type. My type is blonde, blue-eyed, and tall, and that's the woman I like. You know, you know why? Because I want to you know, mix the DNA. I want to mix the genes. I, I don't want to... My mother says, please marry a Turkish woman, marry a Turkish woman. <laughs> but I tell to my mom, listen, if I marry a Turkish woman, we have Turkish kids. It never changes anything. I want to mix it all around, you know? And then the opposite <laughs> to me is tall, blonde, and blue-eyed. And that's why I'm looking in Scandinavia, like Denmark. Copenhagen is a beautiful town. I love Denmark. I love Danish women. But now it gets a little bit complicated, okay? She not only has to be good looking, and she not only has to love me, but she also has to sound sexy. So the language is important, the dialect or accent, if she does have any, is very important, and the voice. And that's where the Danish screw it up a little bit, because the Danish have a, have a letter, it's a cross out O, and it's pronounced uh. <laughs> what I'm really enjoying is I've mentioned on it the Michael Mietermeyer video, video that Everybody always talks down on German comedy, but Kaya and Michael, really two great comedians. I really like their style. We need to like export Kaya and Michael Mietermeyer outside Germany and get them more well known. I'm not exaggerating. That's that's the sound of <laughs> red pudding with vanilla sauce in Danish means. <laughs> He said, you can, you can look like a top model, but if you go on me, <laughs> I get scared. And it's got, I got the same problem with uh, Cro uh, Croatian people. Any Croatians here in the house? From Croatia? Nothing? Jesus. Huh? Serbia. Does it count? Is it the Serbo-Croatian language? Could you say that? Is it sort of the same words? Because the, the Croatian language, it ruins it for me. Because Croatia is a nice country, and I, I like Croatian women. There are a few beautiful ones. But the problem is... <laughs> few. <laughs> there are a lot of beautiful ones, <laughs> but the problem is the language, it ruins it for me. I mean, if, if the, the Croatian language is a little bit schizophrenic. They have words with lots of vowels, and then there's words without any, just consonants. I don't know if you can imagine that, but if you could surf the Croatian language, okay, and the vowels would be the waves, you could write the language quite good. And then there's a sandbank of consonants. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating. What's your name? Maria. Maybe it's the same. I, I, know the, the, I know the words already, but maybe it's the same language. Serbia, Serbia, Croatia. What does garden mean in Croatian language? Garden. Basta. Vrt. See, I'm not, I'm not lying. <laughs> he actually got it correct. I'm not lying. It's a word. It's a word. Vrt. <laughs> it's V-R-T. Vrt. Vrt. Where are you going? Vrt. Bless you. Vrt. Vrt. <laughs> Vrt. The next word. Okay. Death. It's serious. You have to pay respect to death. You don't know what's going to happen. Some people are afraid of death. Okay, so death is a very heavy word. In German, it's tod, and you think, oh shit, what's happening with tod? It's death. And Croatians say, smrt. Smrt. You can't call death smrt. You just go, <laughs> everyone laughs at smrt. It's like a comic word. It's like you drive over something. <laughs> smrt. What was that? I don't... What was that? Shit. Oh shit, smrt. It actually reminds me of speaking with a Scottish accent. We always like do that with our R's as well. You can't call death smrt. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say if I live in Croatia and the Grim Reaper would come and get me. I, I couldn't get him, I, sorry, I couldn't take him seriously. He would knock on my door. Hi, it's me. <laughs> smrt. <laughs>
А вот как... Посмерт. Смерт. Посмерт. Did they steal your Yes. I wanted to be called smart. Man, that is good stuff. Really enjoy it. I'm, I'm really loving this journey through German comedy. Of course, I watched a lot of German satire, but seeing the German comedians like Michael Mietermeyer and now Kaya Yanner, brewing comedy. I love his observations on language there, uh, definitely, and about different European countries as well as his Turkish heritage and German life as well. So tell me what you think about Kaya Yanar. Recommend more of his work. I'll definitely check it out soon. And re keep recommending other German comedians too. Thanks.